this concept of moving water from your fish tank out is obviously one that is present in every single aquaponics system. There are some very common things, however, that you may encounter that interfere with your ability to move water from the fish tank forward. Starting with the most common, pipe clogs. So the pipe size in your fish tank might either be one, one and a half, or two, or even greater. No matter what that pipe size is, you typically always want to make sure that nothing in your system can obstruct the water going out of your fish tank. So you can use plastic containers to kind of guard the water flow out of your fish tank. You could use some type of net or screen. You can get creative with this, but you always want to just stop and think and make sure that, hey, if my pipe gets blocked, is it going to screw anything up? So if the pipe gets blocked and water continues to flow in, it's going to overflow the fish tank, number one, and it's going to drain whatever system the water is pumping into the fish tank from. So ideally, you want to prevent that exit pipe from your fish tank becoming blocked. If you have small fish too, you don't want them swimming into that pipe because they might die. Some systems I've seen actually have large fish that they allow to swim freely through the pipes and it keeps them from clogging up. The next most common problem that I've seen with water exiting fish tanks is not enough slope is created. So if you're using center bottom draining or solids lifting overflow method of moving water from your fish tank forward, you always want to be generous with the amount of slope that you create from your fish tank to your settling tank. If you're using solids lifting overflow, you can actually have your fish tanks above your filtration tanks. Solids lifting overflow fish tanks, I think, allow for the most creativity when it comes to system layout. Center bottom draining fish tanks, you have to have the fish tank tank and the filtration tank sort of close to the same height but generally in an aquaponics system you want your system to have slope between every component so fish tank would be the highest filtration secondary filtration grow bed back to the beginning with one pump i've also seen a few systems where the fish tank was the lowest it actually pumped the water into the primary filter secondary filter plant bed whatever, and then it gravity fed back into the fish tank. But either way, you want to use only one pump in your system if possible, and you want to set up your system so that every single container, the water can flow through it using only gravity. The last really popular complication when it comes to water exiting fish tanks is too much or too little water flow. So whenever you get your system finalized and all set up, you want to stand there for an hour or so and just make sure that it can keep up with the amount of water flow. The more water flowing into your fish tank, the better, because that's going to turn over the water in that tank more often. The only catch with that is you want to make sure that the pipes in your tank can keep up with it. So if you turn the water up the whole way, and you notice that the water is getting higher and higher and higher and higher, it's not going to be able to keep up. So you want to kind of dial that incoming water flow in so that it's the most possible water flow where the water remains the same height. This is really easy to dial in with systems with solids lifting overflows because you can see the water just going into the center pipe. It's really, really simple. Center bottom draining tanks, however, you can't see the water going into the center bottom drain. So you're going to have to kind of watch and make sure that it keeps up with the flow of the next tank. So make sure your pipes don't get clogged, make sure you have adequate slope in your system, and make sure the water coming into your fish tank is at the appropriate speed.